Welcome again, friends. Welcome to Analysis or Pro Program Cell Death. In the last video, we talked about the program cell death or apoptosis of intrinsic pathway. And now we are going to talk about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. You know, apoptosis have these two different types of pathway. In extrinsic pathway, signal comes from outside, right? And that signal helps the cell to trigger set of downstream process ultimately leads to the death of the cell while intrinsic pathway means signal originates from inside that's also known as a mitochondrial pathway where the whole thing start from mitochondrial whole uh, generation and the release of cytochrome c so you talked about that like the intrinsic one so if you want to see you can watch this video uh, the links are in the description box now let's talk about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis it's, it's kind, of, kind of different than the intrinsic pathway but there is a similarity in one place there is a link between intrinsic and extrinsic pathway in one position we are going to talk that too so this is going to be sorry this is extrinsic so extrinsic pathway so let me draw a cell again and what happens in the extrinsic pathway is the signal the source of signal originates from outside the cell so let's say this cell has specific receptors actually a cell have many receptors outside some receptors is for growth responses some for this uh, life signals or this death signal some for interaction with other cells so many receptors some for the hormone uh, reception so multiple receptors are there now in this case we are talking about a very special kind of receptor with a specific domain intracellular domain because this domain is present inside towards the cytosol so specific intracellular domain we call it as a death domain or dd and there are the specific sequence this is the receptor outside and this receptor is a dd or death domain containing receptor this death domain receptor containing receptors are those who involve in the extrinsic apoptotic pathway okay so here you know in this type of responses we call them as a fast receptor because they bind with specific signaling molecule called as fast ligand okay so the signaling molecule that we are talking about name is fast ligand and this is known as fast ligand death domain containing receptors okay fadd or something you can call it now the idea is very simple the idea is same for all that there are some stress going on for the cell and the stress responses are coming out from outside of the cell now due to the dna damage or due to some kind of infection so whatever thing it is a response a signaling molecule as a fast ligand is coming from outside and once it's coming it will attach to this receptor the fast ligand receptor so once it's bound to the ligand the fast receptor it will turn on some death domain receptor inside it will activate the death domain inside right and the activation of death domain is kind of auto catalytic in some extent right just like the receptor tyrosine kinase activity here we have a kind of similar type of activity but the death domain gets activated due to the accumulation of multiple receptors with close proximity with each other okay so many death domain will close together it will be interacting with themselves and forming death domain signal now this death domain signal is known as disc it is known as disc death induced signaling cascade so the disc or disc start to form there due to the accumulation of death domains with the receptors because you know once the fast ligand is coming or the signaling molecules are coming not only one receptor multiple receptors will come together so then this disc will form okay once this means it's a signaling process right signal cascade what does that mean first it will interact with and activate a protein called caspase 8 okay it will activate caspase 8 and caspase 8 plays a vital role in this intrinsic pathway we see caspase 9 play a vital role in the extrinsic uh, intrinsic pathway but in this extrinsic pathway caspase 8 plays that role so let's write here we have a pro caspase 8 now this pro caspase 8 becomes active by this death domain receptor signaling and it becomes caspase 8 
Pro means early stage of the caspase, inactive form. Once it's some modification take place and it becomes caspase 8. These are simply uh, some breakage of some, some portions are cutted out of the protein so that it becomes active. So now once it's active, it's called caspase 8. Now once caspase 8 is there, caspase 8 plays very very important role not only in extrinsic pathway but also to cross stop with intrinsic pathway. How? In the extrinsic pathway, this caspase 8 can activate caspase 3. Okay. So, what it will do? So, let us say pro caspase 3 2 becomes caspase 3. Okay. That is how it actives. Pro caspase 3 becomes caspase 3 due to the activation of caspase 8. Now, once caspase 3 is produced, now this caspase 3 we know caspase 3 can degrade the inhibitor that is holding on to the nucleus enzyme because you know there is a nucleus enzyme but the nucleus enzyme is deactivated by this inhibitor this is an inhibitor of the nucleus enzyme okay now caspase 3 what what caspase 3 can do is caspase 3 can break down or degrade this inhibitor so once caspase 3 degrades the inhibitor so now the nucleus becomes free and active. Nucleus becomes free and active. So once nucleus is active, it can go inside the nucleus, start breaking down the nucleic acids, that means the chromosome and DNA. So it makes the cell to die. This is the extrinsic pathway signaling. But on the other hand, this caspase 3 can cross talk within the intrinsic pathway. How? This caspase 3 will activate BID, a protein called BID. Now, in turn, BID once activated, it is turned into TBID, just like the other activation of caspases, sorry, not caspase 3. Caspase 8 activates BID protein into TBID. That means BID is a protein in inactive form. Once it's active, we call it TBID. So caspase 8, remember, that's why I told you it's very, very important. It mediates this extrinsic one. Now it, it will interact with the intrinsic one. It activates BID into TBID. Now TBID is going to activate BAX and BAC. Remember BAX and BAC? Both of them are responsible for creating pores in mitochondria mitochondrial membrane so what as a result of what happened cytochrome c will come out so intrinsic pathway will also be triggered now you once cytochrome c comes out it will interact with apap1 and they activate caspase 9 now apap1 caspase 9 and cytochrome c together will be called as a complex of apoptosome that's the intrinsic pathway apoptosome complex will be formed then the same thing will happen they will activate again caspase 3 so Caspase 8 can directly activate caspase 3 or they can activate TB to Bax cytochrome C through it is activating caspase 3. So either way, the expression of caspase 3 is very high in both this purpose. Okay. So that's how the cell will know something wrong is going on and cell will take themselves till the end. Once the nucleus, nucleus is active, every nucleic acid will be cleaved, cell will eventually die. Okay. So this in a sense is a big picture and overview of extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. So this is how programmed cell death take place. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button here and look at all the apoptosis videos in my channel by clicking that description. There are links provided there. So subscribe to my channel to get more and more same videos like this and also some better understanding of new video of molecular biology. Thank you.